this short video, we're going to see the data part of the Basecamp Connect. Emergency responders today are using more and more technologies like drones, body cams, and data sharing that necessitate a web link to be able to do their work. So let's look at the Basecamp and what it does. We're going to take any available networks. If it's LTE networks available, we will take that. We always recommend redundancy to have at least two different carriers that have two different antenna systems to make sure that you're um, covered. If we don't have that, there's always Wi-Fi to one. If there's a Wi-Fi coverage available, we can use that and provide our users with the data. And finally, in the case of a national park where there's no networks available, we can use an auto-deployable satellite antenna that's going to give us the data to the system. And we connect this to the WAN port right here. Now, on the other side, we can have wired connections if we connect computers to the LAN ports right here, and wireless connections through the BCC Wi-Fi where we're going to take uh, passwords when we connect and we're going to have secured communications. We also carry encrypted data as we do encrypted voice and we do this seamlessly. Now, one interesting thing with the Basecamp is that if you have three networks available, it will cascade those networks and make sure that you're always connected. So for example, if you have one of the LTE networks that fail, it will automatically defer to the second one. And if that one fails, it would auto automatically defer to the satellite network to make sure that all the users can still do their work without any interruption. For more videos on the Basecamp Connect, click here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, click on the Basecamp. And if you want to request a live demo of the system, 